What's going on guys? It's QBZ with another Destiny video guys. Welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Iron Banner is back around. Yes it is. The Iron Banner is back for its second iteration in year three of Destiny. And there's a huge problem with how it's being run in my opinion. The first problem is and practically the only problem is, is that there's no packages for rank three or rank five. Now, during the first Iron Banner, we were given packages as part of a quest at rank 3 and rank 5. These actually provided some really great rewards and not necessarily guaranteed anything, but was a nice little perk to have that was added for the players. Now, we go back, look back at the previous Iron Banners. You basically had a reason to grind to rank 3 and rank 5. The way it is right now, there is no reason to grind that far into your rank right now rank four and rank five are only really arbitrary things that contain either a machine gun or a pulse rifle granted one of the best guns in the game and one of the best machine guns in the game however if you get these to drop with the post game rewards your rank basically becomes meaningless what do i say when your rank becomes meaningless um this past first day of iron banner i actually got three really really good rolls of clever dragon to drop at 390 there's literally no reason for me to grind out to rank 5 there's no end game packages to look forward to now i can understand what some people will say that the rank 5 and rank 3 packages were kind of just like sugar on top the whip topping especially with the way iron banner is throwing loot out right now and i would have to agree but it seems that this is a huge oversight on Bungie's part because this is another way to reward players for actually grinding out their rank. They might as well not be a rank bar there. It might as well not even go to rank 5. More than likely the players are going to get that clever dragon to drop. Probably it'd be a really similar role to what's offered by Ifredeet. But for right now, that there's no purpose to the ranking system. There's nothing to look forward to once you hit rank 5. Combine that with the fact that you can get all of your weekly bounty done in less than two hours. I've got all my bounties. I had all my bounties done on my Warlock in less than two hours. Now, I know I'm in the 1% of Destiny. I don't mind the bounties being shorter because there's a lot of players who don't have that kind of time to grind out the Iron Banner bounties that they were in the past. And that's a very welcome change, especially with the loot drops. However, I feel like not rewarding players for hitting rank 3 and rank 5 with either materials or even silver dust or even just ingrams was a big oversight in Bungie's hands. You're trying to give players a loot explosion and then you take away that loot explosion because it was tied to a quest that was at the first Iron Banner and that players won't see since. I think that's a huge oversight on Bungie's part. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. I'm going to try to do some more of these opinion pieces. I really like them. I can knock them out really quick. And I want to get further interaction with the community. They'll probably stay at live. But if I record it very terribly, you can bet there will be some editing and takes. It's been QBZ. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this content. Look for more content and streams from me. And I will see you guys later. Peace.